At second 3.30 game, we got an elimination game. We're going to have two of those today. We got number 17, Tennessee, who's 5-1. Trevin, and number 11, Alabama, who's 6-1. Bama Fair by 9.5 on CBS. Joe Milton the third for the Vols has gone 112 and 182, thrown for 1,264 yards, 10 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Jalen Wright is at 80 carries for 571 yards and a touchdown, and Squirrel Wright has had 29 catches for 305 yards. Jalen Milrow for the Tide has gone 85 and 132, thrown for 1,397 yards, 11 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Jason McKellen's had 95 carries for uh, 454 yards and 3 touchdowns, and Jermaine Burton's had 19 catches for 446 yards and 4 touchdowns. Alabama's 58 and 39 all time. Obviously, last game went to Tennessee in the thriller last year. Um, but they haven't won at Bama since 2003. And obviously, Bama had a long record of winning against the Vols before that game last year, where Hendon Hooker won in a thriller. Um, I think what's really interesting about this football game is last year it was like two amazing offenses, right? You're talking about two of the top five quarterbacks that went in the draft that year. Obviously, Bryce Young went one. But a lot of people forget Hendon Hooker was the fifth quarterback off the board. There's about two of the top five quarterbacks that were eligible to go in the draft. Two of those top five were playing in this football game. And obviously that was a thriller. Jalen Milrow and Joe Milton aren't quite Bryce Young and Hendon Hooker. These are not the same guys. And it's not like you had Jalen Hyatt last year if you're Tennessee. He was awesome. Squirrel White isn't quite as awesome. It's just like, this is going to be a low-scoring affair. I don't see how this is, isn't a low-scoring affair. Both these teams eked by last week. Uh, Tennessee was a little bit more impressive because A&M is a better football team. Um, but Alabama eked by an Arkansas team. Honestly, I thought Arkansas had a shot at beating them. They did not, but they led Arkansas back into the football game. It all depends on what half Alabama shows up. If we get first half Alabama, where they're just killing the Razorbacks, right? They're destroying. They're up 24 to 6. This game is over. Except for it wasn't. It wasn't over. <laughs> Alabama let Arkansas get back in the game, and then Jalen Milrow missed some big throws. Now, their defense stepped up big near the end there, got a big sack on KJ Jefferson that forced a punt, and then they were just able to just run off the clock from there. But this is going to be a low scoring game. I could easily see this game ending in a last second field goal or someone needing to drive and get a last second field goal and can't do it. This is going to be a low-scoring game. I would be surprised, I would be shocked if any team scored more than 20 in this matchup. I do like Bama to win here, though. I like Bama to win, but I like Tennessee to cover. I don't think these offenses are good enough to have a 10-point spread.